Good morning, Storyfire, and uh, I'm going to go completely off script here and just tell you all the story from last night, so we're not going to worry about what's going on the platform. I will carry on doing that. That's not being shelved, but I can't help but have to tell this story. This is what my morning's all about. So last night, me and my wife, we went out for dinner, and we went to this lovely little Italian place. She forbid me from telling you the name of the Italian place, because it's so good, but it's quite secret, and she said, what if all the people on Storyfire start going there? I went, they're all in America. They're not gonna. They're not gonna know. So she obviously thinks I'm more of a celebrity than I am. That's how I've still got her. No, she loves me to bits. Um, so, right, we arrive at this place, and we decided whether it's outside or inside. But I'm thinking it's England. It's going to get cold. It's early evening. Even if it's warm now, it's going to get cold. So inside we go, and there's only one place we can sit. Two seats, sandwiched between two couples. So like we've got our little two seater, little two seater here, little two seater there. Okay, so we're eating away. We're just enjoying our evening, having a bit of Italian food. I had sea bass; it was delicious. Um, and I think she had tortelloni, all Italian sounding stuff, and a glass of um, white a verdicchio. It was it was great. It was great. But the couple beside me, I'm suddenly aware, aren't having the best of times. And I, I realise it because I'm looking diagonally across at the wife, the husband, I'm saying wife, the partner, the female of the partners is sat diagonally across and the bloke is sat beside me. So I'm quite aware that she's now got this face on. like, And I'm thinking, is she telling her, oh, did you see that go across the mic? Uh, there's, there's a piece of hair or dust or something but I could see it and then I saw it on the screen um, so she sat there and I'm thinking this doesn't look good and she's putting all those faces and as a man no offence to the ladies I immediately take the bloke side because in my head I'm like those faces aren't helping so in my head but hold on if you're thinking here comes some sexist pig please hold your horses because it's not how it's going to go down so I'm thinking, she doesn't need to pull these faces. It's unnecessary. And then she's going, right, 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 right. What are you saying? What are you saying? And I'm trying to tune in. And my wife now is aware that I am not tuning into her, but all I'm trying to do is tune into what's going on to my left. And she won't let me. She keeps interrupting it. And she knows what she's doing. She's doing it deliberately. She's preventing me because she thinks I'm being too obvious. I don't care. If two people beside me start having an argument, I'm watching. And I don't feel any guilt. I'm trying to establish 100% they're arguing. And then she goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm thinking, he's he's not actually saying anything. And his head's down. He's looking down. And you're thinking, why is she going at him publicly? Just leave him alone. Just leave him alone. Then the waitress comes over. Happy as Larry. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm thinking, don't be two-faced. Because he's just still looking down. Don't be two-faced. No need. Okay, but then she says something that's a bit of a bombshell. She went, well, I didn't sleep with her. And I went, <gasps> he's just come out and said he's cheated. And then it starts to really heat up. She is literally going, right, well, I didn't sleep with her. I didn't cheat on me. And, and I'm thinking, uh oh, this is escalating. He's not saying a word. He's just... Whatever way around that would be. Fork knife. <laughs> um, so she's escalating. And it's getting more and more awkward. Because it's escalating beside us. And then the waitress comes over and goes. Oh would you like anything else? And she goes. Yeah I'll have a banoffee pie. I'm thinking. What? You, I don't get that. Like if someone. If. If someone had cheated on me. And I'm out for dinner at a restaurant. I then wouldn't go. I'll have a banoffee pie please. And if I was him. And she did that. I wouldn't be paying. I'm not saying he's right, by the way. He's completely wrong. Um, but I was just like, this is so weird. Anyway, no one else in the restaurant has worked this out. Just me. So I decide, as they leave, I announce it to the whole restaurant. Couldn't help myself. I, I, I did it subtly. But I went, did you see what was going on? And um, the waitress was like, no, what? I, I, I've, they, they kept pulling funny faces. And I went, he cheated on her. And she was like, oh. <gasps> I thought it was the food. Anyway, so then the couple beside us are going, 
what happened? And now they're still sat out the front of the restaurant just arguing. They've left, but they, they haven't left the restaurant. They're still sat at the front. I don't understand. I don't understand. Anyway, a couple beside us. And it turns out that they live in the apartment that's attached to us. So they live in this apartment attached to this school that my wife used to work in as a nurse. And so it's a private school. Very, very hoity-toity, let me tell you. Um, so it turns out they live in the apartment above and knew everybody that my wife used to work with. All of them, the whole lot. How mad is that? And because we, we, we're not even in the... Set, we're 25 miles away from the town that she worked in. So, like, we're a long way away. So, like, the chance of us crossing is so slim. We live in Brighton. They lived in a town called Eastwood. It's a, it's a 45 minute drive there. How weird is that? That is proper weird. Um, so we got chatting to them. He was also very posh. You know, he, he kind of spoke a bit like what you Americans would imagine a British person would speak like. Hello, it's lovely to meet you. Um, I once again had to attend the Queen's uh, sort of... Uh, what do you call it? Um, you know the bit where she taps the sticks on? She knighted me. That was it. Silly me. That kind of... That kind of English person. Um, not like a real English person. Not one you'd actually ever really meet. They don't exist like that. Well, they do. He did. But they were really nice. So we had to kind of like this... Odd evening. Anyway, that's what I'm telling you about today. Someone cheated, and a coincidence. Anyway, come join my Discord server. You want to be in my Discord server. Why? Because we're having so much fun. We're having so much fun. Just join the link. Just click on the link. If you want to know more about it, want to see what we're up to, do the Blaze video that I put up. Come check it out. Come check it out. If you do, you'll get your Blaze back. You'll get your blaze back if you go check that video out and then you come and join my Discord server. You won't have lost any blaze. Uh, and anybody... Look, we've got Just Laurie, everyone's firm favourite. Uh, we've got MC Phoenix, another everyone's firm favourite. She's in my Discord server. And they're really active, like super active. Dute Deer, Rusty, Downcast. Who else? Jiscario, Jiscario's killing it in my Jiscario's killing it in my Discord server. Who else? Everyone, but not everyone, because you're not. If you're watching this and you're not in, you want to be. You want to be in. You'll have. You'll have the best time. Come join us. Um, so tomorrow we are going to um, go back to what we were doing, reviewing what's going on, on the platform, have a little look around. But for this morning, I just wanted to tell my story, and no coffee, because. Don't need it yet. I'm wide awake. I'll see you soon.